What's going on, Plan Army? Jacob here, and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. So today I wanted to teach you guys how to track in After Effects. So there's a lot of uses of, tra of tracking, whether it's like putting in an explosion in your video, mapping blood onto a wall behind someone after, like, if the camera's actually moving so that it looks like it's there, putting in text and stuff like that. But if you've seen this recent video, I lit Dominic on fire, and this is going to be him running, and he's going to be on fire. So to make the fire stick to him will be motion tracking in After Effects. So I thought it would be a good example. So the fire that I'm going to be using is from Action Essentials 2 from Video Copilot. But even if you don't have these, you can get free stuff off the off like YouTube. You can find like free fire stock footage or something like that, and you'll find something that you can use. Uh, so first, you're going to want to click on your footage that you drag into a composition and go to Track Motion. But if you don't have this tracker down here, go to Window, Tracker, and that'll turn it on for you down here. So go ahead and click Track Motion, not Track Camera. That's for a different type of tracking, which I'm thinking about showing you guys in a different video. But just click Track Motion, and you only need Position checked here, not Rotation or Scale at least just for this purpose. If you use rotation and scale you're gonna need a second tracking point too which doesn't really work if I'm trying to track something like Dominic's body because I don't have two different tracking points really. So the first part that I want the fighter to stick to is his body so I'm going to drag the tracker onto a part of his body like here like the shirt and so this little box is the area that it's actually going to be tracking and the bigger box is the area that it searches for the area in so you want to keep that I don't know something like this now for a moving object like Dominic here when he's running it's not going to be able to keep a really good track but if I put it on something like this target in the background it would be able to keep that fairly nice but because he's moving we're gonna to have to make adjustments as we go normally you could just go down here and click play if you have a solid piece of like contrasty uh, movement that you can track but for now we're gonna analyze each frame as we go forward and this is only like a second long video so it'll be okay so I'll analyze forward and that sticks to him pretty well you just need to monitor this as you go and once you think that it goes off a little bit then you can change that but I actually think this is doing a pretty good job even though I'm not giving it a really specific point of tracking it's kind of sticking to the Seattle logo on his shirt. Which is actually my shirt. I had to give him clothes to do this with because we just felt like doing this one day. And he didn't have a spare change of clothes, so I gave him the shirt. Alright, you can see here it's coming off. It used to be like more on the Seattle thing, so I'm going to move it up a little bit. Uh, it's, it seems to be doing a pretty... Oh! Messed up there. That's why you need to go through frame by frame sometimes if you think it's a little sketchy because you don't want to just like flick off and then make a huge mess but if it does mess up you can always just go back to the frame it messed up fix it and then keep going it doesn't actually like mess up anything well it's kind of it just tracked that brighter area there I think it got a little confused it's doing a still pretty good job I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm obviously not tracking the exact same place in his shirt. But if it's a big fire effect around him, then it won't matter that much. And as he's running out, this will bring us to our last few frames. You just, sometimes when there's more motion, it's closer to the camera. Since there's more movement, you'll have to move it more, like I am. Alright, and as he runs out of the camera, we will be done motion tracking. And that's only the really hard part of this at all. Alright, so once you have that done, what you should do is go down here, go back into your normal thing, ignore the tracker for now, and go to Layer new and then null object what this null object is going to be used for it's gonna store your tracking 
data so that you can you you can put anything and like parent it as you can see here the little parenting squiggly thing and you can give the nulls position to that which will make more sense once we have the fire but basically the fire will take on the position of the null which is the tracking data and it'll keep it on dominic it's fairly simple so what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our little tracker here and we're going to go to edit target and make sure that it's on null whatever your null is mine's 17 because i did a lot of tracking in this video so make sure it's on that and then hit apply x and y it should already be on that hit ok and you'll see all these things come up and you can see that the track the tracker stays right on dominic's shirt where we want it to at least for the most part all right so we can just turn that off for now because we don't really need to see that and we can drag in one of these fire effects for this i guess i'll use torch turbulent 3 okay um, why is it not showing up it's not in my little timeline no oh, there it is that was weird but there now to make this fire a bit more realistic first i'm going to let's go there i'm gonna change the levels of it a bit that's not how you spell levels okay So I'm going to drop the um, white input so it's a bit more like that and drop the black input and that looks a bit more realistic. So to make the torch fire whatever take on the location, or the position to be exact, of the null, you have to grab this little squiggly thing, the little whip, and drag it right onto the null. And now you can see here you can also use this drop down to select it that it's on null 17 which means it's taken on the position so if I put this on Dominic's shirt scale it up a bit rotate it to fit his shirt a little bit better then as we scrub through here you'll be able to see that it sticks to his shirt but you can tell that the scale is completely messed up because we didn't track the scale but we couldn't really so to fix that what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust the scale so that it's right we're just gonna keyframe it basically we're going to keyframe it so that it fits on him here, and we'll also just keyframe the position to be careful. Drag it to where you want it on him now, at the very beginning. And then as he comes up here, it should be getting gradually bigger, and we want the scale to be something like that now. That looks good. And when he gets over here, it should be even bigger, like this and as he runs by should get a bit bigger again and there we go all right so what i did when i made this video is i tracked different things i checked i uh, tracked dominic's shirt and created a null for that and put the data on there and put fire for his shirt I tracked his face so I could put fire like streaming off of his head. I did it for his hands. I just did different parts of his body. I'm not going to do that right now because that's all you have to do. You can just put it, you can go back into your same layer, go to track motion, and just track his face this time and put the uh, data onto a different null. And you should probably name your nulls so it's more organized, which I did when I was actually making the video. So if we just do a quick render here, it might not look amazing, but it actually looks pretty good. Dominic's on fire. So that's just a basic tutorial on tracking in After Effects. If you guys want me to show you a different tutorial on like explosions or blood against a wall, something like that, then I'll go ahead and show you. But for that, that's basically just a tutorial on tracking. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next tutorial.